Yeah, dude. Look at this. This. Look at this. This sounds more like a new Lumines game than I have ever heard <laughs> in my life. Well, Brad, I have good news for you. This is CrossLeak Plus, a uh, a puzzle game with the, what the developer calls the Y2K aesthetic. Okay. Um, which I take as like a blend of, yeah, like Luminous, DDR, maybe a little Space Channel. Yeah, there's, def there's a, definitely a Dreamcast kind of vibe yeah. to this game. Like uh, like the cover of a Now That's What I Call Music okay. in the early 2000s. Wow. Um, that was a little indie game uh, that came out a couple days ago, and boy, it's neat. It's one of those puzzle games that has a fairly simple setup. Like there's not... <laughs> you make crosses. It's it's a very easy kind of idea to pick up, but boy, once you start getting into it, it gets hard. Um, I like this little menu here that's kind of mapped after like a like a train station. Yeah, you see that map there, and then when you load in, it like uh, the green one is the Yamanote line. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so basically. You have a grid. Uh, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start at the lowest settings here. Um, let's just launch into it, and I'll talk about all that stuff later. Pick aim, our track. I aim, like aim conflict. For, aim, aim for the top. Um, aim for the top. I'm going to aim for the top here, and I'm That's probably gonna to. probably gonna get like <laughs> three levels in. Uh, Even that is like very Street Fighter Alpha Three announcer. Yes. <laughs> aim for the top. Like, look at this background too. Um, all right, so Crossneak Plus is a game where you make crosses. Uh, oh boy. Like all the way across the board? Uh, yes, so I'm lining up these grays right now. Uh, you can rotate all the way around. You can just keep going, you know, infinitely. Uh, but then once you make a cross, boom, it disappears and you keep going. Oh, huh. okay. And as you play, uh, the level increases, which is there on the bottom left. Uh, and the timer decreases, which is that blue bar on the right. Um, and it starts out fairly simple. Like, we're, we have a grid here. The star blocks are bonus points. Uh, if you clear them in a cross or adjacent to a cross, you will get a bonus. Um, and then now, so now it's gonna start rolling out these lock blocks. Lock blocks don't rotate around. You can only bring them to the edge. Huh. Uh, which by themselves aren't that big of a problem, but once you get a couple of them on the field, it gets really messed up. Okay. Um, were you a, are you, have you ever been a Rubik's Cube guy? Not super duper especially so me neither but this feels like it's hitting the same part of my brain that has always been interested by yeah. Rubik's cubes okay sure uh, so the things that stay the same the, uh, the grid here the grid size uh, and the amount of colors you're dealing with that's all stuff you pick beforehand so that's not going to change but the higher your level goes the more of these uh, additional blocks you're going to get um and so you get bonus points if you do um, in quick succession. Uh, this is just a score attack, uh, or this is the endless mode, rather. It's kind of the, the standard mode in this game. Um, is there anything like a campaign or a structured mode, or is it just No, kind of, this kind of feels like, like... Here's a puzzle game. Yes. Um, there's a time attack mode, which feels very similar to this, uh, and a chill out mode, which will, will show off. Uh, as well as a fairly robust versus Yeah, mode. I kind of want to play this. Uh, so we should just go to versus. And then here's how you take this game to the next level. So you're thinking like, okay, you're flipping around, you're doing stuff. Um, yellows, okay, I'm gonna go for yellows. So you can set anchors anywhere. You can oh. have unlimited anchors, and what it does is it moves everything at once. Oh, wow. And so once you really start to get good and kind I wanna, of- I don't want to play versus anymore. <laughs> Once you start to figure out, so like, okay, I know I'm gonna wanna move this one up and this one up, so I can just, boom, get those together, and then with oh. the press of a button, you can get rid of all your anchors. Nice. Uh, so look, just gonna, boom, 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 bam. Uh, and then there's one more type of block. It's a little X, and those lock the row and the column that they're on, and they are motherfuckers. You really have to get rid of those, like, right away. Um, 
Yeah, you have to talk now because it's starting to get hard. Um, boy, crosses certainly have a long history. <laughs> oh my um, god! Wait, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Yikes! Uh, don't tell me to fill, man. Just gonna get whatever. Uh, cr uh, cross Tekken, Street Fighter, Cross Tekken. Remember that? Yeah, I was gonna say in games, like the, the, the history of franchise Cross Fandra has is robust. What's your favorite gaming crossover? Um, uh, I'm trying, struggling to think of a lot of them uh, outside of fighting games. Like that's yeah. that's the extremely obvious. But I was trying to think of something outside of that category that would qualify. What else you got? Mm. Um. Uh. Boy. I'm gonna say the Daytona USA car in Fighting Vipers. Yeah, there we go. Uh. That's still a fighting game, but. Kingdom Hearts Cross, or yeah, Kingdom Hearts. Disney and Final Fantasy. I know Disney's not inherently a video game, but I think they really went for it on that one. Uh. Okay, so you know. Actually, uh, I'm gonna keep going. Um, I've kind of... It's interesting because the, the difficulty is really up to you. So like, this is the easiest the game can get because I started on the lowest level and the smallest grid. I'm just gonna let the timer come out here. Um, and then uh, as you expand your grid, that's also upping the amount of colors that are in play. So let's just, uh, let's pop into another mode here. You get this little recap post-game. Uh, it's kind of annoying if you're not connected to the internet. This part where it tries to upload your score to the internet takes a long time and it prompts you to connect to Wi-Fi and everything. Hmm. Um, get some coins. What can you buy with the coins? I will show you. Uh, another bummer, very slight bummer. Uh, load times on Switch. Apparently this is not an issue on PC. But they're a little lengthy. I saw the developer tweet that they are working on a patch to reduce those uh, times. So let's hit up the shop. Head down to the streetwear district and go see V. It has V come to. V is about to come to, and they are going to show us the glorious wares. A lot of V's in games these days. Yeah. Player character in Cyberpunk is also V. All right, so what you're buying are, yeah, there you go. So you're buying, out, you can buy outfits. I'm not exactly sure what the outfits are. I haven't bought anything yet, so this will be the first time. There's a bunch of outfits here. Um, these are uh, versus items, which I'll get into later. There's additional music tracks. And that's kind of, it for now, except the museum. Uh, I'll buy this outfit for Hayes. Okay. Oh, it's one of the multiplayer characters. Okay. Oh, so God. it looks like you're getting skins. How does the multiplayer type of thing where different characters have different abilities? Yeah, they, they have different abilities. <laughs> I mean, I'll give it a shot. This game has some character to it. Mm. There's V, and then there's another character which will show off. Oh, I think that's. Vi, isn't it? Vi? Yeah. Might be Vi. Like Violet? Um, they do not specify. Well, let's start talking. Last time I talked, it was like, hey, you should uh, buy something from me. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Man. Go off. All right. This proprietor suffers no fools. Um, if you're just starting out, uh, there's a tutorial. There's kind of a basic tutorial, which runs down like the very basic rules and then advanced tutorial. It kind of shows off that anchoring system. Um, and also there's chill out mode, which is in an art gallery, of course. Still aim for the top. Always aim for the top. Even while chilling out. Be the best chiller you can possibly be. Chill the hardest that anyone has ever vibed. Ooh. I like Cal. Um, so right now there's like only one thing unlocked here in the gallery. 
Uh, and it's these backgrounds. And you can just kind of play in endless mode on them. I'm gonna go back and donate. Uh, and see if we maybe unlock a new painting with that. That sounds reasonable. <laughs> okay, so maybe nothing right away, but maybe as you play, it'll start rolling out more things. Uh, which is a bummer, because I wanted more, because actually this is kind of cool. So instead of like configuring a bunch of stuff, you just launch in and the colors match up with the painting. Huh. And it's quite Sweet. nice and relaxing. It'd almost be cool if you could like load in your own images or something. Yeah. And have it do that. Whoa! Yeah. Wait, I didn't expect this. And so you can just kind of... Wow. You know, oh, so take It's, not, it's not just colors, it's actual tiles. Yeah, and, and you see graphics. it like... It's not necessarily... It's like... Uh, sliding it around to reveal the image behind. Like I'm trying to get all these greens lined up so you can see the plant, you know? This is the best thing I've ever seen. Right? And it's just so chill. Holy and shit. clear them. No points, nothing to worry about. Just gives you some more blocks, man. Can't believe how into this I am right now. <laughs> All right. Wait, no, don't take it away. <laughs> okay, uh, just, a, just a taste. Just a uh, moment of silence. Okay. Just need to get some Ritas out here. <laughs> Kick back, put our feet up on the desk. Um, it's time for versus. Sure, let's pop in. Yeah, so the, the, the time attack, it's like you can set how much time you want, three minutes, five minutes, and you just go. Um, and then there's an endless mode uh, that doesn't have that timer. Um, but you can set a level so you can like have all those obstacles in there just to kind of practice dealing with those. And the versus is really the last um, thing, and it's it's got a depth to it that I was not expecting um, is it mostly just because of the characters? Yeah, and other items. So oh, let's geez. pop in here. Okay. Uh, so yeah, each character has one specific item to them, but then share a pool of items otherwise. I. Oh my god, it's an octopus. I think I picked the other costume for Rain, right? It's an octopus named Ocho. I also like... Oh wait, what happened? Okay. I like Dr. Bean. I have to be the octopus. Uh, two rounds is fine, items on. Oh, so, wow. you're choosing four items here. Uh, the EX cost, basically, you build EX by clearing crosses. So it's like how expensive it is, and so what you're doing is you're building out a rotation of items. So the first item you pick will be the first one to activate. Okay. And then it'll go to the end of the line, and then they'll kind of keep cycling through those. And then the last one here, you can see, is the unique one for your characters. Ah. Crazy eights, it's appropriate. So, fills the opponents with locked tiles, that seems good. And then I'm just gonna grab these. Oh, I see. That's kind of a weird interface. Um, Take it easy. Great. Uh, another nice thing. Oh yeah. You can completely cool. just set your colors huh. to help with color blindness. Um, I suggest picking three distinct colors because there are a lot of like. Dark purple and light purple and black. You don't want up in the mix. It's a yeah. <laughs> um, and you can set handicap and all that. Okay. Uh, buttons. Uh, so A, press and hold A to grab a row and then move it around. And B is drop an anchor point. And Y is clear all anchor points, okay. I think. Oh wow, that's Oh yeah. Cool. Yeah. Alright. Ah, okay, now I got it. 
Yep. Okay. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> I've already screwed myself. Uh, uh, a, a good beginning tactic that I went for a lot was doing crosses along. The, so you see on my screen, I'm going to get one along the top and side. Uh, like just getting them all onto a, like the left hand side and then the top, it counts as a cross. Sure. Uh, I think the whole Y2K aesthetic is a neat, like, I've talked about this before, but we're hitting that inflection point where uh, a lot of young game developers who like grew up ah. in my age period are starting to make games now. And so I'm starting to see like, like the PS1 era represented sure. a little more in like the retro sense. Yeah, I don't know if I love that name for it, but I absolutely like that aesthetic. Yeah. Like, I think it's awesome that people are making homages to that, like... Uh... I don't know, I mean... Back then, a lot of people called it, like, that Sega Blue Sky kind sure. of thing. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I think Dreamcast is very yeah. evocative, yeah, like you said earlier. Totally, totally a Dreamcast thing. I could see not wanting to call it that for a game that's not out on the Dreamcast. Yeah, sure. So we're building these EX meters. I haven't actually gotten an item to work because I this is hard to play by yourself. <laughs> the multiplayer. Um, I wonder if it does the same thing where it'll start slowly filtering in the like lock blocks and other stuff. Did I say this is eight dollars? Yes. Great. Uh, I don't know if he's that. Well, Brad, it's eight dollars. I understand it's eight dollars. Ah, shit. What have I done? I'm screwed. Well, I've almost got my meter. Uh-oh. I think I do have my meter. Uh -oh. oh, so it looks like you made... Oh, yeah. You probably have to clear a cross with that guy in it. Huh. Eek. Oh, I screwed this up big time. There's only three tracks unlocked out the gate, music-wise. I would have liked maybe a couple more. Um, I understand it's hard, but uh, oh. for a game that's so evocative of like a lot of rhythm games and stuff. Oh my God, oh, how did I screw that up? So I wonder if it just, nope, the EX gets depleted. We have not seen an item in play yet. Damn it, it's so close. Sometimes you just stare at the screen and don't know even where to go in the slightest, and sometimes I'm on fire and just like can think five to ten steps ahead. Shit. Ah! Uh, mm. Really easy to overlook stuff. Yeah. I feel like. Like you get 80% of the way to making a cross, and then you're like, oh wait, I can't do that right now. Yeah, I was I was playing a little bit earlier, and Jan was watching me, and just like, I, he was just saying, I have no idea where you were going at any time with your cross, because it is one of those things you have to think kind of far ahead. Yeah. Um, there, there's certain games that kind of go for, back on the, the whole look and vibe of this game, because I feel like it is such a big part of it. There's a lot of games that try and evoke a certain style or an era. Um, like, for me, Rad is an example of a game that doesn't quite nail it. Like, it, it evokes the 80s, but it doesn't quite hit it for me. This, I feel like, evokes a very specific thing, but and as soon as you load it up, you're like, okay, I get it. Yeah, they're doing a pretty good job of, of hitting the thing they're trying to do, for sure. Uh, oh. oh. So it kind of freezes me while you do that, too. That's oh. interesting. I would love to show off one of these items. Your luck. Oh, no! 
I have a lock on my screen now. Wait, is that it? <laughs> it had to be more than that. Oh, okay, I got more. Is oh. it every time you clear oh, one, wow. I'm gonna get some? Is that what it is? Might be. It seems all right. Sure. Okay, yeah, that's, that's less underwhelming. I wonder how long that lasts? Oh, God. This really fucked me. I can't believe you fucked me on this. Is it still active or did it run out? I think it ran out at this point. <laughs> Excuse me. Wow, I really did pick like a super high EX cost thing. Yeah, my, my top one was 16, which is just like, no thanks. Oh. What is that You're shield? still locking me. What is that shield? Uh, I think that's your, uh, another power. Oh. Oh, oh, shit. Right. That's so weird that you set, like, almost like a playlist for your abilities. Yeah. It's cool. Interesting, I, uh, twists. Yeah, it's, uh, there's no online, unfortunately. Uh, oh, there's not. Uh, no. It, I, I'm pretty sure because it, well, let's, it asked for both the controllers earlier. I just did something. Take a peek back after this just to double check, but. Whatever that item was, I just did it. Well, nothing's happened to me yet. All right, I finally got an item here on a color I don't have enough to make a cross for. This is a fun train game. Like, it's, it's nice to like pick up. Uh, games don't last super long. You know, you're in and out in a couple minutes. Yeah, I can see that. That's where I predominantly played it. Oh no. Oh! Lockdown! What does that mean? I don't know, but it's my signature move. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's like your, basically your super? Yeah. Shit. Took a lot to get there, but... Thanks, Anchors. Oh my god! Oh, wow. And it just, because I was basically one move away from a cross when you did that. <laughs> so I just moved everything over a row. <laughs> That was, that was, so that was basically like your ultimate? Yeah. I don't think mine got in here. I don't think I put it on my list. Oh, that was good. Oh. I'm gonna go ahead and say gray. Not a good color to pick because it looks like the absence of things yeah, to move around. Yeah, I noticed that when you were playing earlier. <laughs> Make sure not to do it. Ah, I can't move. Okay, so I have like a shield active, it looks like that'll protect me from your bullshit. I can't tell because I haven't been able to keep an eye on it, but I wonder if our meters are, will start to drain faster as we go. Um, oh no. I haven't even been looking. What's the mechanic? Is the meter refill every time you get across? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I would assume that would speed up after a while. Oh, I would do it. Shit. Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, that lock actually kind of screwed me. Oh, the whole not blinking thing is starting to hurt. Uh. What did I get? Oh! Oh, look at the meters. My, I have more time than you now. Oh, wow. It's like a tug of war. That's cool. No. Yeah, okay, maybe... Yeah, it looks like you're nudging me over a little bit every oh. time you clear. Yeah. That's cool. Shit. 
Oh, shit. Oh, I use refresh. I don't know what that does. Yeah, that, that seems to be common to abilities. Every time you use an ability, I can't move either. Ah. You know, it's nice to see like a, a puzzle game like this with a fairly simple mechanic, but they make it interesting. Like, cause you know, you think about like Tetris, it's just, okay. You just put these guys together, clear lines, it's easy, but it's really not. Yeah, this is uh, easier to pick up and play than I expected. And what you were saying about, especially about the versus mode being a lot. Yeah. But I feel like I've got my head around it pretty fast. I wonder uh, how we end. <laughs> you mean how, how we're, like, we're back to the middle. Yeah. We're too evenly matched. Kind of stalemated here a little bit. There's a nice flow to your board because the more of the color you do, the more of the other colors there are. Yeah. So every every few crosses, you've just got like almost a freebie where you've just got a ton of one color built up. We're gonna come out of this as the greatest cross DQ players who have ever lived. Cross Neek Plus, not Cross Neek Q. Yeah. Cross Neek Plus, the robot says it at the start of the game. What a weird name. Super again! I want it. And ideally, I want you not to destroy it instantly. <laughs> That'd be great for me. Basically just makes it so you can't move an entire thing. Yeah, that seems annoying. Oh shit, now yes it kind of is. Yellow right now. Uh, maybe. Oh. No. Oh my God. Are you serious? No. Ah. God damn it. Yeah, that that fucked me. That super was bad. <laughs> I could not work with the whole row that I couldn't move. I like this. 
Yeah, well, yeah post-game that's, banter. That's, that is a pretty cool multiplayer mode. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I wish I had brought my super in because those oh, are the yeah. ones. Those are the ones that seem like they really make a difference. We got a lot of coins for that. Um, I've been clearing like 30, 40, and we got seventy. Oh. Um, yeah. yeah. This seems all right for eight bucks. Yeah, totally. Like it's uh, it's a relatively simple game with a lot of depth. There's this. Huh. Right. Uh, I've heard there's secrets in the game. I just wanted to pop into the verses and make sure there's not a multiplayer. Yeah, no, it immediately goes to this. Oh. Okay. Let me out! That is Cross League Plus! Okay. A Y2K aesthetic puzzler out right now on Steam, Itch, and Switch. Pretty cool. Eight bucks. I'll see you in the crossroads. My eyes hurt. <laughs>